Hey guys, what's up? Misha Crossing here with an exciting new 3DS Hacks tutorial. There is now a free homebrew entry point for 3DSs on the newest version, 11.5. Uh, it's called RPG Hacks, or RPONG, and it works on both old and new 3DSs, Mac or PC. Uh, sound hacks, uh, which I've talked about a lot before, still doesn't work on versions above 11.3, so RPG hacks is going to be your best free method for 3DS hacks right now. It was just released recently, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I will have every link and code you need in the description box below, as well as extra links to other 3DS uh, hacks websites for more help and more info if you need them. Now, if there's any hacks terminology that you don't understand, I will try to explain some of the terms better in the description box. Uh, but this process is really easy and you shouldn't have a problem getting it set up. Uh, as always, when installing hacks, I recommend not updating your system until you know it's safe. Otherwise, your hacks might not work after updating. Nintendo might patch them in future updates. Uh, but let's just get started with the RPG Hacks tutorial. I'm not going to actually be installing RPG Hacks on the 3DS I'm recording on, uh, but I will walk you through the whole process regardless. So we are here on the RPG Hacks or our Ponage website with all the steps you need. Uh, let's read over them before actually doing them. So first of all, um, you do need a 3DS on 11.5, which is the most recent update, and a digital copy of the free app RPG Maker Player, which I will show you on the 3DS in a moment. So first of all, you're going to get and install the Homebrew Starter Kit, uh, which we will go over. We're going to go over all this. Change your 3DS language to English. Find a code for your region and console type, uh, either old 3DS or new 3DS. Uh, you might want to look at hashtag get our on Twitter. Four, download the DLC. They say this is optional, but uh, I've seen a lot of people saying that the game crashes instead of loading homebrew until they download the DLC. So we'll go over this and you'll want to go ahead and do it regardless just to make sure everything works. And then download the project, download the code uh, that you get, and after the download is done, just run RPG Maker and Homebrew should open up. So first step of installing RPG Hacks is going to be installing the Homebrew Starter Kit uh, from the Homebrew website. If you've used Homebrew before, you'll already have these files, but if not, go to the website, scroll down to preparing your SD card, and you'll want to click on Homebrew Starter Kit and that will automatically download the Starter Kit down here. And like I said, I'm not actually putting it on my SD card, but what you'll want to do is unzip the file with whatever uh, file extraction software you have. 7-Zip is free on, on Windows or on Macs. I think you can just pretty much automatically unzip folders without software, so just get the files out of there and put them onto your SD card. If you have a new 3DS and don't know how to connect your SD card to your computer, I'll put a link below on how to do that in the description box. So after you get those homebrew files onto your SD card, we need to actually go onto the 3DS and get everything set up on there. Here on the Nintendo 3DS eShop, you just need to search RPG Maker and that will bring up RPG Maker, which costs $40, but this is not what you want to download. You want to scroll over to RPG Maker Player, which as you can see is free, and download it. It is completely free. Like I said, I've already downloaded it just to save on time, so you're just going to want to download that app. Next, you'll want to make sure your 3DS language is set to English. Obviously, you'll know if it is or isn't. Uh, if yours isn't set to English, you'll just need to go to your system settings, go into other settings, over to language, and just make sure it is set to English and you will be all set to go. Next, open RPG Maker Player from your 3DS home menu. Once it is open, go to uh, Download Contents. This is where we're going to download that DLC, which makes the Homebrew Entry Point through RPG 
Maker Player uh, more stable to make sure it doesn't crash. So download this, wait for it to download. Back in RPG Maker Player, you'll need to enter a game code for your 3DS's region and type. So go to download games and just agree to everything. Go to download posted product, search product ID, and in product ID, this is where you're going to post the code. I'll have codes in the description box for both old and new 3DSs, but if you need another code for whatever reason, just search the hashtag uh, GetRPWNG on Twitter and you can find uh, a plethora of codes for your 3DS and region. But here we are going to enter the code for a USA new 3DS because that is what mine is. So I am entering. Y, zero, confirm, 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 and it will bring up our ponage here, and it is English, just select download, and just select where to download it to. Once the game code is done downloading, go back into RPG Maker Player, press game play, and then run the game you just downloaded and Homebrew should open. Like I said, I didn't fully install Homebrew on this 3DS, I'm just walking you through the steps, so it won't open for me, but it should open for you whenever you run the game you downloaded, as long as you downloaded the one correct for your 3DS uh, type and region. Lots of people have had success with RPG hacks, but a lot of people do experience the app crashing and not loading Homebrew at first. Sometimes you just need to try it a couple times and it'll work, or you might need to run through the steps again and make sure you didn't miss anything. If RPG Hacks still isn't working for you, you might need to try another entry point. I recently made a video about 3DS hacks, hacks options for 11.4 and 11.5, so check that video if you need more options, it'll be linked below. You can also check out the 3DS Hacks subreddit and the Homebrew Discord server for more help. People there are far more knowledgeable in hacks and mods than me, so they're who you need to go to if you can't figure something out. A lot of you might only want access to homebrew so you can hack Animal Crossing New Leaf like I've shown in other videos. To do that, you need to install the homebrew app JK Save Manager onto your SD card, which I will also link the, the download link below. For more information on JK Save Manager and hacking Animal Crossing New Leaf, uh, check out my old hacking video, which will also be linked below. Uh, I'll make the link work to where the video will start, where I'm going over getting your save file to use with the Animal Crossing New Leaf Save Editor so you can edit your town to your desires. Also, if you've been using homebrew entry points that require an other app payload, you'll be happy to know that Hacks Dev Smee has updated the payloads to work with 11.4 and 11.5 so you can go to the homebrew website and get the new other app payloads here now. Like I said, all links and codes and resources you need are in the description box below. I'll keep you all updated on new hacks developments on here and feel free to follow my other social media uh, for more hacks talk. You'll have a wonderful day, be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!